Hi guys, Pouring Maven here, doing my very first video. And I'm gonna be doing a swipe. So, let's get to it. I'm gonna start, I've already started um, with my canvas. It's nice and drummy sounding. Um, and I'm gonna do a two-sided swipe and I've got some pretty um, kind of Mardi Gras colors and uh, we're gonna get to it. Don't pardon, uh, pardon, pardon the desk. <laughs> she a mess. Anyway, okay, in the colors here I have um, my silicone and in the black um, that's gonna be my swipe color. She is extra, extra soupy. I hope you can see that there. Um, so that that way you can swipe easier. And then, so we're just going to get started. I am going to do purple in the or uh, black in the middle, and then I'm going to do. Um, I'm going to start with the lighter colors first, and then I'm going to hit with the darkers because, as you can see with this one that I did of kind of rainbow colors. The um, the first colors don't come out as well um, because that's kind of where you start. So um, I want to do, um, I kind of want to, I really want that purple to pop and I want the yellow to pop too. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do black and then white and then purple and um, the blue and then the yellow and then um, I'm gonna but I'm actually gonna do it on both sides so these are gonna be really skinny lines but when as it's drying it's gonna it's gonna really kind of spread out so it's gonna be really cool so let's get started let's do the white first and it's okay that silicone is on the board because this is a swipe. So make sure that we've got even coverage here. Then I'm going to do purple. As you can see, these are also starting to sell up with each other, which is really cool. And then, these are actually leftovers from a pour that I did earlier, because waste not, want not. Well, that's going to be interesting. Anyway, okay, so now we're going to do the yellow. And these are metallic Artist Loft colors. 
which I'm starting to really dig. And then we've got the teal, which is the last color. All right, now let's pour the black in the middle here. We wanna make sure that we go really, this is not as thick as, one mistake I just made is I probably should have kind of spread this stuff out, but whoops, it's going to be interesting. <laughs> All the way around. Okay, now, because we're gonna do a paper towel swipe, I'm going to take my paper towel, pretty paper towel, and I'm gonna get it wet. So I'm going to kind of spray down here. I'm get my paper towel wipe, wet. I'm normally not, I normally don't talk my way through these. Talk my way, talk my way through my process. I just do it. So this is something new for me. So just bear with. It doesn't need to be dripping wet. Just not damp, but more than damp. Needs to be a little bit more. There we go. Uh -oh. Let's make sure that's still in frame. Okay. See how we're getting some really cool cell action? All right. So we are going to take the middle half here and really get that in good. And we're gonna swipe. 
wipe the colors. And yes, there is going to be a lot of black, but never fear. There is going to have some stuff start popping. And you don't want to go too fast because that is going to ruin your that is going to ruin your it'll like smudge really really fast so just don't go too fast low and slow so on this one we are going to get our black kind of let it load a bit and then just let it load and swipe, swipe, -y swipe, and there you go. And then what we're going to do is we're going to get our heat. bubbles start popping. You don't want to get too close. You don't want to get too close to your um, to your paint because if you do that it will burn your paint but at the same time it's okay to get um, a little close because you want to get enough of the cells to start popping. So let's just give it some time and we'll be right back. Okay, after I've given it some time to sit, this is probably about 20 minutes after. Um, and as you can tell, it has, um, the cells have really popped. And so what basically I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back and right here where it's kind of poured over the side, I'm going to get a little touch up here and just do some minor touch-ups. But other than that, this gorgeous doll is done. And then I'm gonna do some cleanup. And I will be back in a few. We'll pro this will probably um, dry for about 24 to 48 hours. And once she dries, then um, I will give her a good varnish. And uh, then we'll be done. So for right now, uh, sh this lady is done. I'll call her Mardi Gras Swipe. Um, and um, for my first video piece, um, I think this went really well. So after... So, um, I'll do another video, and that is all for today. So, I hope everybody had fun and enjoys um, the process and um, getting to see how each piece is made. Um, if you're doing this as, um, as a kind of a information how-to, um, this is how I make my pieces. So, if you've got any questions, put some questions in the comments, and I will... Uh, do my best to answer them and um, everybody have a um, great day and keep on pouring thanks bye bye